Hey everybody, Barry Bales here. You're about to see a preview of a lesson from my course on Discover Double Bass. So I have multiple basses that I play depending on what the situation calls for. Different setups, different kinds of strings, and uh, we'll, we'll go into depth on that later. But one thing I wanted to touch on was this particular bass, uh, these are gut strings, and the G and the D are plain gut, the A and the E are gut core with a silver wrap. Gut strings as opposed to steel strings, you know, some of these are new, uh, currently manufactured brands. Other ones like this G string is an old stock that I found. It's a red array that was probably made in the 40s. So I say that to say if you, if you are a gut string player or want to experiment with playing with gut strings, Unlike steel strings, you really have to experiment and find, you have to experiment with each individual string until you find one that sounds good because they're not as consistent as steel strings are. So you just got to keep playing with them, keep experimenting, keep finding the one, go until you find the, the set per, by each string that works for you and that sounds good to your ear. One thing that happens as a result of that is depending on the string, you might have a different point of contact in order to get the best sound out of it. You gotta work around and find the sweet spot where the best tone is. So a lot of times for my setup, I've noticed that I'll end up, if I'm coming over to grab the E string, I'll play it lower than I do any of the other ones. And that just, you know, if you, if you play it up too far, I found that it kind of tends to give you too much finger noise and too much rattle and, and what I call splat. You know, you hit it and it goes So that's something to experiment with on your own setup, your own set of strings, if you want to go down this road of playing on bass uh, gut strings, or if that's what you're doing now, and maybe not getting the sound that you really want, consider trying that. Just keep experimenting and, and, and finding that sweet spot and seeing where you're pulling the best tone out of each of the individual strings. Thank you so much for watching the lesson. I hope you enjoyed something that you saw. If you want more details, check out the information below.